why you need to say no to clients that are a bad fit. Five words, okay? Bad clients breed bad clients. Think about it. You do a good piece of work for a client that's a bad fit for you and they go and recommend to their friends that you're great. They go and give you a testimonial and people check that testimonial out and go, oh yeah, this is the person that I want to work with because I'm like the person giving the referral. So they say to their friends, don't worry. Yeah, I don't pay them on time. I don't send them the information on time, but it's okay. They always sort me out. They are fantastic like that. Is that the kind of client you want? No, of course it's not. And that's why we have to say no when we recognize a client is not a good fit. It's why it's actually really important to us, but it goes further. You see, when we burn energy wasted on trying to help out someone that's a bad fit for us, we're depriving our other clients of that energy. So we could underperform for the people that are a good fit which might even put them off. They might be like, well, I had high hopes, but do you know what? They're not as good as I thought they'd be. That would be even worse, putting off the ones we want and attracting the ones we don't want. So that's why you've got to say no to clients that are a bad fit. So remember, bad clients breed bad clients.